Okay, let's get started. The very first thing that we are going to do is set up the HUD for our equipment. So let's head over to our inventory and then create a new folder. We're going to call this one Equipment. Inside of Equipment, we're going to make a new user interface widget blueprint. This one is going to be called WBP Equipment Window. Ah, uh, okay. C click User Interface, sorry. <laughs> equipment Window, like that. Open it up. Inside of Equipment Window, we're going to add a vertical box. Inside this vertical box, we're going to be adding a size box. Inside this size box, we're going to uh, this size box we're going to set to a width and height override of 500 by 400. But we're going to call it character window for now. Fill screen, set it to desired. Inside of this size box, we're going to add a border and then a, another border inside of that. The first border, set the brush color to something that you want. I'm going to have like a little grayish. Inside this border, we're going to be adding a canvas panel. And then we're just going to start populating this with a little bit of text. I'm going to center that to the middle top. This is going to be player name text. If you want, you can set this to variables. This is where the player's character name is going to be. I'm not going to implement that here, but just change this variable and, uh, and that's okay. I'm just going to do a text of player name and then color and opacity, change it to like a dark and then justify that in the middle. Under that, we're going to add a little border uh, into the canvas panel, sorry, under the player name. Send to that also, I'm going to give it a little dark, just going to scroll in and make it a little bit like so. And maybe increase the X size just so we have a separation. After that, we're going to add a new text block into our canvas panel. Just put that in the middle again. This is going to be called stats. Um, text is going to be stats. Make it a little darker. Maybe set the font size down to like 18. Change the alignment to Y so that it goes under that. And then create another border to separate this. Middle. The alignment Y goes down like so. And then it goes up again because I didn't rescale it first. Set the brush color to a darker one like so. Inside here, we're going to add a vertical box. And then immediately after, we're going to add a horizontal box. Align that to the middle. Slice that to content. Compile save. Inside this horizontal box, we're going to add another vertical box. I, th I feel like I'm being redundant here on the boxes, but just bear with me. And inside of this vertical box, we're going to add some text. The first one is going to be attack power. Text is going to be variable. The text is going to be attack power uh, colon space. I'm going to change the size down to like 14. The shadow color, I'm going to set that to 1. The alpha, sorry. And I'm going to move it. Move the. Where would it go? There's the box. I'm just going to move this box down like so. Change the color of the text a little bit. Maybe like so. And I'm just going to basically set up uh, the stats. I'm going to do this three times, so I'm just going to skip ahead for that. Do a 9999 after this to see how it looks if we have four letters, four numbers. I'm going to duplicate this vertical box, and then we're going to center this to the middle. And up a little bit. The second vertical box, we're going to change the text, so we're going to have strength. They are a bit close together, so we're going to add a spacer into this horizontal box. We're going to move it to the left, and we are going to scale it up on the X. There's our stats inside our canvas panel, right inside our canvas panel. We're going to add another size box. We're going to center it to the middle. It's going to have a override of 128 by 256 for now. So I start the content. This doesn't look okay to me. Let's just move it like that. You 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 can fine tune this all you want. I know it's not center. It's okay for us in this. I'm just setting up the framework and then you can tweak anything you want. Inside of this one though, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a widget. So we need to create that widget. 
right click user interface widget blueprint and this one is going to be called WBP player camera so we haven't set up anything for the player camera yet so let's go over to our first person character inside your first person character go to the viewport inside of components click add and we're going to add a scene capture component 2d this scene capture component 2d we're just going to move it and make it so that it's facing our player a little bit maybe like so we'll tune it later the texture target open that up click render target i'm just going to name it default open up your render target change the X and Y size to whatever you want. Don't go too crazy though. So I'm going to do 512 by 512. If I now do a quick play, now you can see that we have a render target. We're going to right click our render target. We're going to create a material from that. I'm just going to name it default. The material domain has to be user interface. And you also want to set it from opaque to be translucent. You want to hook the RGB into your final color, the alpha, sorry, the alpha one minus and hook that into the opacity. If we now go to our player camera and we add a image here, side on screen on that, and the image is our render target. So grab your, your, your material, sorry. Set the image size to the one that you chose before, like so. Inside your equipment window, go to the size box and we're gonna add a player camera. Might not show up. So let's hit compile and save, click play. And there we go. The problem, you can't see the character. However, if I do a, we don't actually have it on screen any, uh, right now. What we're going to do is we're going to head over to our first person character and we're going to head into the construction script. Inside of the construction script, we're going to grab our C component. We're going to set uh, render mode, set primitive render mode. The render mode is going to be a show only list. Then we're going to set show only actors. We're going to make array. And we're going to set the it to ourselves like so. If I now click play, go back out again. Add to the player camera. I can't actually see it right now. That's fine. That's fine. Let's just move on for now. Inside of the inside of our HUD, let's add this to it. So let's head over to inventory interface and then over to HUD let's move this inventory to the right and actually anchor it to the bottom right anchor the chest to the right and add your uh, equipment window size that the content put it in the middle let's compile and save it play do actually have to figure out this camera the, it's very simple what we forgot to add just have this plugged in set up as we did before right and then on your uh, your character mesh, the character mesh that you want to be able to see, you're going to search for only owner C. If you unplug that, if I click play now, it's very tiny at the moment, but you can see that the character is in fact over there. If you move the camera a bit closer, maybe, just move it like that, hit play. You can see that it's there and now it's definitely there in your face yeah so just uh, set the only owner c to false and uh, let's keep uh, keep moving and let's go back and work with our inventory equipment and our equipment window inside your equipment window you can minimize the character window and you're going to add a new size box to your vertical box inside of this vertical box you're going to do width and height override 500 by 250 we're going to call this one equipment window inside this one you know the drill we're going to add a border and on top of that border another border change the brush color of the first border do something a little bit darker inside of this border we're going to add a vertical box inside of this vertical box we're going to be adding a text text is going to be equipment justify that in the middle make it a better color like so add a border to separate those as well and set that brush color now what we need to do is we need to make equipment slots so head into your equipment user interface and make a interface called wbp equipment slot inside of equipment slot add a size box i'm going to override that to be a little bit bigger than our slot so 92 by 92 maybe set it to desired 
And the same drill as always, add a border, add a second border, first border a little darker. And then we need a image. Our image is going to be a type icon, we're just going to call it icon, sorry. And in our equipment window, still minimize your character window, we don't need that for now. After you add your border, you're going to add a equipment slot. You're going to put that in the middle. This one is going to be called weapon slot. You're going to add a horizontal box inside your vertical box. Inside of this one, we're going to add equipment slots. We're going to add three, so just duplicate those to three. So what we're going to do is inside of our first one, we're going to give it a padding to the right. So let's give it like 50, 100 maybe. No, we're not going to do it like that. We're going to give it a padding from the left, 50, and then a padding from the right, 50, 54. There we go. And this one needs a padding from the left of 50 maybe. Or is it 54 on this one as well? Our first slot is going to be called shoulders, shoulder slot. And then head slot. Finally, our trinket slot. Compile and save, hit play to test. And there's our, our current screen. Eventually, we're going to be adding our stats and we're going to figure out how to, why the fuck our character's not showing up, even though we're putting it at, as ourselves. But that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye bye.